Well, paleoecology is a study of former or older environments. So what we're trying to do as, as, as a paleoecologist, I'm trying to take the pieces that are given to me, the fossil remains uh, from lake sediments and other types of deposits, and I'm trying to put together all these pieces in a puzzle. Swamp Lake is a very unique site in the western uh, part of North America. It is a lake that has what we call laminated sediment. Much like a tree puts a ring on every year, and you can literally count those rings back on a tree, in Swamp Lake we can do uh, a similar sort of study. We can literally count those layers back year by year by year. We're standing on a small platform at the top of the Sky Dome. Swamp Lake in Yosemite National Park is just about as, as big as the floor of the Sky Dome, and the water and the sediment are just about as thick as the height of the Sky Dome. So imagine for a moment that you're standing on a small platform on Swamp Lake. Let's take a core. Fine. Yeah. Got it? It tells us something about how climate has changed in, in the past. And again, all of this is, is, is a way of, of, of trying to understand our natural environment, trying to understand the processes that have occurred in the past, and trying to understand the record so that we might be able to provide some, um, some guidance to managers for the future. We, we, if we don't understand where we've been, we don't have any idea of where we're headed. Getting into Swamp Lake was a bit of a, a bit of a challenge. Because Swamp Lake is about um, eight, eight miles from the nearest uh, trailhead, to get our equipment in there, which was something about, was something about 1,500 pounds of equipment, we had to uh, use the mules. And uh, we had about 10 mules to get our equipment up there, and um, uh, there was no other way to do it. The Park Service won't allow us to helicopter because that's a mechanized uh, vehicle. So, and it worked out, it actually worked out quite well. The quarrying that we've done at Swamp Lake um, to try and, and retrieve the sediments from the bottom, it has to be done in a couple of different ways. Uh, one way is to use what's called a Livingston corer, which is a piston corer, which allows us to get sediments that are, are consolidated. They're more like mud. They, they hang together. They hold together. But oftentimes at the top of, a, of, a, uh, uh, of the sediment, the bottom of the lake, the sediment is very watery. So we use a, a, a core which allows us to f actually freeze that sediment in place. And uh, so this core is a wedge shape that we put dry ice and alcohol in, and it literally freezes. We, we send it down to the bottom of the lake, and we let it sit in the sediment, and it freezes sediment on the outside. That way it preserves that nice fine structure at the bottom of the lake. Swamp Lake is an important piece of, of, uh, in the puzzle, trying to understand the, the paleoecology of the West, but it's only one piece. And uh, we in this lab are working on a number of different sites throughout the West. We have projects all, all throughout California, throughout the Southern Rockies, up into Alaska, even in South America. And we're just starting a new project in, in the Sierra Nevada of Spain. So um, it's only one of a number of projects that we're working on. Uh, NEU is really one of these centers in the Western US for this kind of research. So it's a great place to, uh, to work. Uh, it's a great place to study, and it's a great place to live.